Beautiful first exotic of the day, guys. Holy smokes, bro. Ooh, what are you? Pull that bad boy up. Ooh. Welcome back to Rob's Class, guys. In today's video, we're going to be fishing this little creek a subscriber told me about. It connects to a bunch of waterways that supposedly hold some exotic aquarium fish, but we have yet to test it out, so we're going to be fishing that today. But before we get into the video, please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications. Now, please bear with me. The great winds are upon us. Now, the weather is actually pretty nice, but as you can see outside, uh, the wind is kind of howling right now. But regardless, we're going to slap on the GoPro and head out. Hopefully, the wind isn't too bad. Usually, the GoPro is pretty good at combating the wind so we're gonna throw slap that on and jump out there bro the water looks very shallow you guys will see in a second but we'll see what it do now being that this is in somebody's backyard hopefully i don't disturb too many people but as you can see the wind's kind of crazy and this is the little creek i'm telling you guys about it's super super shallow so i really have no idea what to expect it seems to be like it's literally just this gap of water right here and then it gets a little bit deeper further down the way i already walked down so i kind of got an idea of what's happening here but oh, oh he just snagged up a bunch of fish this is gonna be a dirty one guys so please like and subscribe if you haven't already because this is gonna be really really gross oh no i'm gonna have to sort through all that mud i oh i wish i had gloves right now but this is the game plan we're just gonna scoop around in here and see if we could pull up any fish it's a super, super shallow creek. I've never actually really fished something like this before, but we got this slab of muck right here. Oh no, this is disgusting, bro. Oh, oh no, no, ew. Hoping if I face this way, the wind's gonna be a little less bad and the audio will be better, but we're just gonna try to do our best to sort through all this algal muck. Ooh, we got a bigger fish right there. Looks to be like a bluefin killifish. Anybody hiding in the mud? I feel like this would be the place where you would get an amoeba or something crazy. Ooh! Oh, ew, no, please stop, please stop, please stop. Don't do that. We got a little tilapia right here. Hopefully he doesn't slingshot too much mud in my face, but first catch of the day, anything bigger than a little live bear. Was that really necessary? <laughs> we're just gonna get him back in his little creek let him do tilapia things this mat right here looks super thick is this deep oh gross bro this is this is some nasty nasty stuff right here oh no oh that's disgusting it's eating my shoes see i i was wearing sneakers but i just had to switch out into the boots for this because as you guys can see this stuff is just disgusting oh no oh gross oh we caught a lot of fish hold on what are you oh it's a little mosquito fish i see a little molly right here so so far three species discovered in this mess and it seems like we've got two masses of muck so i'm gonna do my best to sort through this mess and see if there's anything hiding in this crap like guys this is like straight mud <laughs> like this is absolutely disgusting thankfully there's not much garbage it doesn't even really smell all that bad so it can't be like waste waste like it can't be horrible for me right another tiny little fish but this is absolutely disgusting i can't even use my choice words for how to describe this oh guys look right here in the mud oh it looks like a worm yo i think that yeah dude this is a little coolie loach oh he is beautiful look at that he was in that mud just like a little eel bro okay so first exotic of the day oh 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 no no, don't do that. Don't do that, please. We gotta get the keeper bucket with some water from here. But a beautiful first exotic of the day, guys. We got a little coolie loach that was just spazzing like a crazed man. Hold him in my hand so he doesn't escape. And we'll get some water in this bucket for the little dude. Oh, this stuff is gross. But first exotic of the day, guys. We got a little coolie loach. Get him down in there. Here's some of your mud back. See, this is like the perfect environment for a species like this. Some little eel. Doesn't look like there would be any big predator fish or even bigger cichlids aside from those little tilapia in here. So we got this guy and some mosquito fish that tagged along for the ride. We're gonna take a few more nets and see what we could pull out. This stuff is absolutely disgusting. But if we could pull up some more coolie loaches out of here, that would be pretty fire. Oh God, anybody home? Oh, I need like a poking stick, man. Ew, something just receded inside of there. Dude, <laughs> oh no. I really don't want to be touching this stuff, man. Oh God. I'm surprised there's no like leeches or anything in this. This is like a parasite's paradise, bro. Dude, holy crap. This is gross. Oh, ew. <laughs> oh, dude. 
what is my life come to? <laughs> Sorting through muck. Absolute nastiness looking for fish. Ooh. Oh, this time it smells. This one smells. This is quite little, like I'm actually Mike Rowe. That's what my life has come to. I'm just Mike Rowe of the aquarium trade. Ooh. Okay, little cichlid right here. Looks like it's probably a little mine cichlid, nothing crazy. Ew, please get away from me. Get him back in the water. Anybody else? Nope, just that little cichlid. I see a lot more movement in that bigger pool right there. Ugh, ew. I literally, there's no other way, like I don't know any other words to describe this stuff other than just vile, disgusting. So repetitive at this point, but it's generally how I feel. Let's see. This stuff is straight muck holy smokes bro oh what are you oh oh it's a little fish hold on wait oh no way it's a little tiny garami oh this is probably one of the smallest little garami i've ever caught look at that guys isn't he gorgeous wow 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 that is a beautiful little garami Whoa. oh no i was about to say we'll waste no time getting him in the keeper bucket this looks like it might be one of those sparkling garami. One of those super, super tiny, beautiful little sparkling garami guys. We'll get him in here with the coolie loach. Hopefully they get along great. Wow, that guy is tiny. I would have never seen that. I've decided to try to increase our odds of catching some cool fish by setting a fish trap. I remember seeing a deep little creek over here. So I'm gonna pop over here and see if we can't set this. I got a little bit of cat food in there, nothing too crazy. And we'll look for some deeper water along this creek to set the strap. Oh yeah, this part of the canal is a lot deeper, a lot better for setting a fish trap. So we're gonna jump down here and just throw this there. Hopefully whatever fish are in this canal will be able to get up in there and we'll have a good time. But yeah, this this part of the canal gets really deep and where we were, it was not as deep. I figured while we're over here, we might as well also fish this deeper section. See what it do. Oh, oh no. There's no real good way to go about this. Oh, dog. Oh no, ugh, dude, this is so disgusting. This is easily one of the mustiest canals I've ever fished, bro. Like without a doubt. Dude, oh, 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 tadpoles. Look at that, little bullfrog. Oh, ew, little beetles and shit, bro. Oh no, ew, oh, it's a tadpole. Okay, we'll get him back in the water. Oh, what is that? Is that a bug? Oh, I just saw this little thing. Oh, no. It, what is that? It's squirming. It looks like a little fish. Dude, what the hell is that? <laughs> wait, wait, what? It just moved. Is that a little fish? Like, is that a little catfish? Is that like a little catfish or something? Is it gonna move again? It kind of looks, it looks like a pleco, but it has like a round face. Like it's got like barbs or something. Yeah, this is a little fish. What is that, bro? We'll put him in the keeper bucket. Add him to the list of little oddballs, I guess. Very strange. Look at that little thing. Look at it, it's tiny. I'd say we probably only got a couple swings before that sun goes down and we gotta check the trap. So we'll pick up the net and get right back into it. Oh, God. All right, bottoms up, I guess. <laughs> Dude, this is so vile. Anything slip through the cracks? Oh, there's a little fish. Ah, oh, lame. It's just a little tilapia, nothing crazy. Oh, crikey. I think there's some rain rolling in, so we're just gonna pull the trap right now and see what we got. All right, guys, the trap's right here. Pull that bad boy up. Oh, okay, so we caught a lot of cichlids I could see already. So let's crack this open and see if we got anything else in this little trap. The zipper's a little weird. All right, let's take a gander, see what we got. Oh, what is that? Is this a little snakehead? I don't know where it is. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, wait. oh. Wait, stop, stop. Dude, no way. Look at this. Guys, there's little iridescent sharks in this creek. They must have been on that bigger side because where we just were, there was no shot we were gonna catch any because of how shallow it was. But we got some in the trap. That little spot right there connects to the bigger canal. Oh, we must have caught them traveling. I saw maybe one more. Oh, he jumped back in. <laughs> this is a disaster. I gotta get these big tilapias out of here. And then there's this giant vieja cichlid in here. Let me get him out. Hopefully he doesn't crush anything. Oh my God. Look at the size of that vieja. We were trying to catch these out of that one canal the other day. Holy smokes, he's big. It looks like he got beat up pretty bad by the trap. 
uh, the wires right over his head but you can see beautiful vieja cichlid right here gorgeous fish we'll get him back in the water and then look at this guy oh look this is the little snakehead i was telling you about what are you come here come here look at this guys it looks like a little snakehead maybe even a pike cichlid right here we'll put him in the keeper bucket he's not looking too hot oh he might have got crushed but oh he's alive he's alive he won't waste any time and get him in the water you okay buddy okay he looks fine and then if you guys look right here hey stop that stop that see this is why cichlids are so bad in fish traps they just flop around and damage all the smaller fish what are you big old spotted tilapia and then right down here guys we have three little baby iridescent sharks right here guys some beautiful beautiful fish they're actually a good size usually i don't catch them this big but a good size little iridescent sharks right here we'll get them in the keeper bucket with the that could be a snakehead could be a pike cichlid i'm not sure and let's see anything else in here oh there's a little loach come here it's so hard to get to them when there's so many fish these guys also could probably get through the trap if they really tried so gotta be a little bit careful with them oh there's another little garami <laughs> wait wait dude okay i'll get this little garami out first and hopefully i could get the loach in the same hand but we got another one of these little garami if you didn't know what you were looking at you would have never thought anything of this little fish we got the loach right here he's literally just dancing around the trap go crazy in a second if i can't get this loach i'm gonna go crazy bro why are they so difficult but we got the loach right here and then the garami jumped out right there two more keepers for the keeper bucket beautiful beautiful little fish get him in there with his friends a lot of oddballs in this canal creek type deal is there anybody else in here we're not seeing it does not seem like it i think that's everything out of the fish trap other than these cichlids overall pretty weird day a lot of oddball fish we got three sharks we got this weird little snakehead looking dude two coolie loaches a sparkling garami and that little catfish wherever he ran off to there he is look at that i think that's a catfish at least i don't really know and that is it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed the video please like the video subscribe channel and turn on post notifications if you did uh very interesting little creek a lot of cool little aquarium fish in there as well also note tomorrow i'm going to be touring a house probably going to try to apply to it three bedroom two bath two thousand square feet should be very solid if you've been watching my twitch and you've been watching my streams and you already know this you're ahead of the curb but that is also linked in the description down below my twitch um so yeah i'll probably be on there get this video guys out to you on time and yeah good day so far i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you guys in the next one Deuces.